let's download the first step is download the image and verify its integrity with this md5 code this one is a given so we only need to verify the md5 code whether it matched this one you copy link location and i would like to create a folder before we start Open your Kager in Documents, that is uh, 432 here. I would like to create a folder called PRJ1, PROJ1. And open a terminal window here. Oops. We can use a uh, wget to download this file. Copy link location. W get paste the link here. Okay, now we have this uh, zip file. How do we get its MD5 code? You learn this in uh, 350. MD5 sum followed by the file name image.zip. Here you can compare this code with the code provided here, you can see uh, the match, which means the integrity is not destroyed when we download to our computer. Now we need to answer these questions with the tools and skills we have. First, we can practice some uh, basic Linux techniques. Let's unzip this file first. Unzip image.zip. You see, we get a file called image. You type ls, you see this uh, image. Also, we can check the size. ls. Here, the size for this image is 1474560 bytes. This is a typical uh, floppy disk size. Since it's an uh, image now, how could we get its contents? The best way is to mount this uh, image to an empty folder. Here we have an empty folder called uh, MNT. That's considered as a mount. So we can use a sudo mount this image to that mount directory. Then all its contents in this image that will be mounted over there, so we can use the ordinary operating system operations to check its contents. Type our password. Then we can use ls to check that mount folder. You see under that mount folder, we have an exe file and a cover page.jpgc. We can go to that folder here we open a, in the new tab, put it here, mount. Now you see we have an exe file, have a jpgc file, but we don't know what it is, right? We can cd to the mount folder, use the techniques we learned last week. We use file to check the types. You check, you see this one? The error, we cannot uh, read it, which means it's uh, corrupted. This one is corrupted. But this exe file is a zip archive file, and at least we 2.0 to extract. So maybe we can try to unzip this one to see whether we can get anything. Now you, you see something, uh, it says, in the central directory signature not found which means this one is also corrupted. Either this file is not a zip file or it uh, constitutes one disk or a mod port or kind. And in the that case, the central directory and the zip file common will be found on the last disks of this archive. So we, we are stuck here, which means we need uh, some techniques 
to recover this disk. The basic uh, techniques here, uh, it does not help, then we resort to autopsy to help us. So we can CD to the home folder, sudo your mount, unmount uh, this image. Okay, now we can use autopsy to, to do a forensic analysis. How do we run autopsy? First, we need to check our Java SDK version. This one, you, you know how to do it in uh, level one. Currently, the default one is 11, so we need to switch to uh, Java 8. We use SDK default. Actually, maybe we need to list out first SDK list, Java. Then we see what the Java we installed. Here is the version 11 version. And also we have a eight version installed here. So we, only, we need to set this one as the default one. SDK default. As of this, also we need a Java place here. Now you see our default Java version is set to this one. Then we need to go to the folder where we save our autopsy. I think it's in my download folder. Download folder, tap LS. I see my autopsy is over there, CD autopsy, LS, CD bin, LS. All right, this is my autopsy. Then I can run my autopsy. You may uh, start this uh, investigation or with uh, autopsy on your Windows. So if you use Windows or use uh, Linux for this step, it's fine. First, we need to create a new investigation case. Now the case name, we can choose the a meaningful name, that meaningful name is uh, we want to try and find a drug provider and those information. So we can create a drug investigation. And the base directory. So where do we want to uh, put this stuff? We want to go to our project one. Here, project one, this is a base directory. This is a case information, and we click next. Here, case number. Usually, if you work for policemen, maybe they have some format for this case number. Here, let's just type uh, 0001. Now, the examiner. So, the examiner, please put your name here, your phone number here, your, your email here, and uh, note here. Here, we can say, uh, first name, then last name. In your report, you should put your, your name here, last name, first name, and a phone number here, and your email here, and uh, put a note, what you are doing for this one. You can put a note here to investigate drug provider. and uh, some related informations. The organization you can specify here. For example, if you work for some police stations, you can manage those works, organizations. Maybe you, you can work for many uh, organizations. Now we click finish. This is a case information. Uh, 
Okay, I need to uh, wait a little bit. Here, now first select type of data source to add the disk image or VM file or lo your local disk or logic files or uh, allocated uh, space image files or top C logical image image results and this uh, XRY text uh, export from other forensic tools. Here, ours is a disk image, so we click this one. Choose this one. Click next. What's that image? Select the data source. The image is the one we saved in project, project one. And the image type, we choose all files, is this image file. Click open. Now the MD file value, we can uh, copy that MD file value, put it here, then it will check the, no, we don't have that uh, MD file for this image, we only have for that zip file. So we can skip this uh, patch code, they're optional. And the time zone, select size, just let the order detect, order, uh, detect. Click next. Here, there are lots of plugins. Now you see it has a lot of, you can consider the, the tools, discrete tools that were collected here. For example, used to find a recent activity, hash lookup, file type identification, and so on. Here you see this one, exif parser, as we discussed last week, and email parser, keyword search, photo rec, cover, cover, and so on. We also have Android analyzer, actually we don't need them. Now we, it's not an Android image. It's okay, just leave them all here. But if you select all of them, it will take lots of time. Because each one, each of these plugin, they will go through that file. So we only, Choose those, what do we need? Drone analyzer, no. GBX parser, no. GBX, what GBX means? Geo data for the GBX files. The old days, I don't think that they have GBX uh, data over there. So recent activity, hash local file, uh, identification, let's see what kind of stuff we need. Encryption, interesting file. Collection engine, virtual machine, we don't have virtual machine, data source integrity, it's okay. But we just choose this stuff. And uh, uncheck those unrelated stuff. Actually, they are called uh, ingest modules, or you can consider them as plugins used to, for, to perform specific uh, functions. For example, this uh, email post is, is used to, uh, you, when you Click it, you can see what it's used for. Detect and pause, inbox and uh, the PS stuff. You can put it here to see. PST, OST files exported from Outlook. Click next. Now it will run those uh, plugins and I have arrow. We can check those uh, arrow here. Okay, it says says uh, some uh, plugins are executed. This one, it says L um, unpacking, this is scheduled with .exe. We know this file cannot be opened as we just uh, uh, did with the command line. Now, from this uh, left panel, we can see the images here, this is the image. We see there are some uh, terms we don't understand. We will learn later. FAT1, FAT2. There are the file system, FAT file system, and MBR. There are also some often files. When you click it, you can see the often files, the metadata here. You can see the annotations. Then for this uh, FAT1, no indexed uh, text for this file can check for metadata. 
if you have taken my ideas 330, you will know some basic knowledge about a file system. Fed 2 MBR, what we are interested, we want to find some, uh, whether we can find some files, carved files, uh, allocated. This one, no use for information. But here we can see, this one is recovered, is is in this unallocated space. This is a doc file. Now you see with these forensic tools, we can find uh, some information that we cannot uh, get with a normal operating system operations. So we, we have this file now. We, we see there are some contents show up. You see this is quite interesting. We, we see uh, like an email, this doc file. We have usernames and uh, contents and uh, so we also have we also have metadata. So this is a uh, one piece of evidence we can use. Now for this one, that ex file, we know it's corrupted. Now we can check all this stuff. We see. These file types, they're all zero, we don't have. Deleted files, that is one system file. Is this one, Jimmy doc, And here, totally, we have two. We also have a delete file like this one. Then we want to uh, recover these two files. You just select, press your control key to select, select them all, right click. And you can see uh, it can be uh, recovered using uh, extract files. Use extract files and save the, that is the default location. Files are extracted. When we go to our project one, this drug investigation folder is created by this autopsy for us. Here you can see all the data here, this export, we have two files that are recovered. For the first one, Jimmy Jungle, we open with this uh, LibreOffice. So we get one piece of information here. And you can read the contents to see whether you can get any uh, information important to the investigation case. Here, at least I know you're growing it and not some guy in Colombia. It looks like this one is a provider. So you can read this one now. The, the other one, you can open it to have a look what it is. Here, this is the other one. They look like these two are almost the same. Okay, we will recover the two pieces of information, but uh, we didn't recover other stuff. As we, we know, that is a file. This one, this one we, we want to uh, try to recover this one and this uh, .exe file. How could we get these files? Well, we can check it's uh, hex uh, information. And when we check the file header, PK something, uh, this stuff. So you can check all the our signatures to see whether we can get this one. And for this uh, JPGC, we check its hex number. It looks like this, or F6, F6, F6. So what kind of valid information 
we could uh, get. These are the first uh, rough steps we practiced, but now our task is to try to recover this uh, JPGC and this dot uh, .exe. This uh, doc we already recovered. Now, how do we recover this uh, cover page dot JPC and the scheduled visits dot .exe? Because we still need some other knowledge, so we can check the reference solution here. Here are the results. We have a reference solution here. From this one and this one, or uh, this uh, top 30, you can right click open this one. You see this one, uh, it answers all the questions and also show how to, uh, how to extract the information with a with the basic uh, Linux commands. Here you can see how to uh, check this stuff. So we can go through this uh, reference solution to see whether we can uh, get all the stuff. This one who is uh, Joe Jacob's supplier or model one and uh, what's the address listed for the supplier. Here in this file, we recovered and uh, we can find the date, data over there, here. The address, right? The address, key, the name, they're all here. So this is the first part, the first question. The second question, what crucial data is available within cover page.jpg? And uh, what's the, uh, why is this data crucial? Here the file, coverpage.jpg contains a string, that is a password, equals a good time, which appears to be a password. And the password is uh, required to decrypt and open a zip, zipped file, which is recovered from the disk image. So we need to ch check whether there is a password, pw equals good times. In this one, when we check the hex, we scroll down, we didn't see it, right? And now you see uh, with this tool, uh, we, we cannot find that uh, information. So how could we find the information? We need to uh, combine with the command line. Here, go to our project. Oops, close this one. Go to our project. Open a terminal window. We can uh, check. We can use hex dump dash c followed by this image. Now there are lots of stuff here. When we just go through this one. Actually, we see there is a PW equals good times. So PW, you, you may guess it's a password. And the password is a good times. And here we have a PKZ something. Is that an EXE file we just uh, see in that uh, autopsy. And when you scroll up, you also see something. Uh, Here, how do we uh, scroll up and down? It's better use a, a less command. This less command so you can scroll up and down. You press enter, you scroll down. You press K, you scroll up. Now if you scroll up, you see some information here. This information we will learn later how to analyze this uh, information. It's about disk partitions and file systems. And again, we can scroll down to see uh, all the stuff. Here, you see that uh, Jimmy Doc dot H something, Jimmy Jungle, and that uh, cover JPG dot exe file. You can all see them here. When you scroll down, you 
here you see these contents. The contents are actually uh, the same as the information in that doc file, right? Jim Jungle location, address, and so on. Now you see hex dump gives us all the information. Scroll down, you will see. Uh, we know the JPEG uh, signature. What the JPEG signature? We can check that. Okay, here you see Microsoft.com office. So it looks like uh, it's saved in a Office Word document or something. Then you check out some other stuff here. HR Jimmy Jungle. Here, Jimmy Jungle. Microsoft Word and 10.0. So you see it, it looks like the version of this Microsoft Word. And you see the last question. The six questions, the last question ask you what Microsoft program was used to create this cover page and your proof, not just a guess. In order to prove, you need to uh, we need to find the the Microsoft ver version, how they uh, code those versions. Yeah, root entry, let's see a table, word document summary. Just keep going. Here, you also see some word document eight and nine. What does this mean? Then we see some. Uh, JFIF, as we just uh, learned uh, last week, is a signature of JPEG file. So could we uh, extract this JPEG file? So we can go down to see maybe these are the contents of that JPEG file. Then we need to find we need to find the boundary of this JPEG file. Where should we start and where should we stop? Here you can see the. This data looks really like the part of the image file. When you scroll down, now you'll find something uh, like this. We don't know which part will come to the end, so we need some knowledge about JPEG images. Yeah, we come to this uh, part, then we come to this uh, PK, it uh, looks like. Now, what kind of knowledge do we need? We need the file system information about a file, uh, file trail. Then we, we will know where to start, where to stop. DD, input file, is this uh, image. DD means uh, disk dump, so we can dump port from this image. And the output file, we just create uh, as as the, this uh, solution called recorder recovered that just quite a recovered zip file. Yes, there's a block size. 512 bytes, count, file, and skip, 104. You can read what the meaning of these numbers, read this uh, paragraph. Okay, now you check this one, I have a recovered.exe here. We can use this file command to check it. Now you see it says a uh, zip file and at least when order to extract. And it didn't say it's uh, corrupted or anything. And now we can use unzip to unzip this uh, recover that zip.exe. Here it asks us for a password. Now that password we can use that good times. Good times. Okay, now you see uh, it says inflating which means it's uh, unzipped, use ls. We can see uh, this one is extracted from this uh, recovered-zip.exe. 
We can open this file. Come here, open it. Now you see what it looks like. You have all these high schools, so, so many high schools and the date, months, day, high schools. So, lots of high schools be beyond this uh, Smith Hill High School. So we have evidence here, this is sheet one. For this sheet two, nothing, sheet three, nothing, only this sheet one. So these are one of them. This zip file we recovered. Now we want to find that JPG file, how to, uh, how to find the boundary of that JPG files. We know this signature, JFIF. And uh, here, this is Microsoft Word version number. We, we also saw this in our hex dump. Now, how do we uh, extract this one? Again, we need to determine the boundaries. So you can read the, the text to see how to determine the boundaries here. You can check this sentence. Data uh, following the mock FFDB as the cover page file. So you can check this place. This is a signature here. We need uh, some. Uh, knowledge about this uh, image header, JPEG image header. As we learned uh, the file size, how to determine the file size. I demonstrated last week, right? You, you use the JPEG image header to determine the uh, file size. Here, there's the description. Let's see where's the, but from this place, from this uh, header, you can determine the width, height, color, then you can determine how much it contains the data and so on. And uh, there is a, there is a mark for the end of the, the data. So how do we extract this one? Here we go up to see a, uh, What the extraction for that uh, image? This is a reference demo. It uses an autopsy to recover all the files, the old version autopsy. Here for this uh, JPEG. First, Google to find the information about the header, and uh, an image starts at this sector, and continue try to find the end of the file. So we need to find the stop of the file, and the camera cross appear to be the end at sect 103. After the file is recovered, it looks like this. So the image is between, this JPEG image is between sectors, these two sectors. So now we we want to re, to extract this JPEG image from this uh, between these sectors from seventy three to uh, one hundred three, and it all use this uh, GUI to do these uh, extractions. We can use our command line to do the similar extraction, just like the dd command here. The dd command, we want to extract how many sectors. Here is a 103 minus uh, 73 is uh, 31, right? We need uh, 31 sectors, which means the count is 31. And how many do we need to skip? We need to skip uh, 
Yeah, the extracted file we will call the uh, just call it a J image, JPG image or image dot JPG. DDIF, oops, I missed that OF. OF equals image dot JPG. Now we copied uh, so many sectors from this. Uh, totally, we, we re read out 31 sectors. Go to our folder, we can check here. You see this image, this uh, image. Model one, or I don't know what it, what this one looks like. So now we have recovered recover all the information as this uh, as this demo, and we can also answer all those questions now. The first question we got from that doc file: What closure data is available within this uh, cover page .jpg? And why this data is crucial? We see this image, and also we need to pay attention to this uh, uh, text. Your monthly guide to the best pot on the plant pots smokes monthly. This month's fe featured pot grower, smoker, and seller is Jimmy Jungle. So it's a uh, it's a clear statement about who is the producer. That's why it's important, crucial. And what other high schools besides this Miss Hill does Joe Jacobs uh, frequent? We get those information in that Excel file. For each file, what processes were taken by the suspect to mask them from others? So we can. Uh, read the description in this demonstration and those are solutions here, these solutions. Because currently uh, we don't have the knowledge and we will learn those knowledge later, the file systems. And this uh, bonus question, what Microsoft program was used uh, to create this cover page file? We know it's the user Microsoft Word and also we see that version number. To get an exact uh, answer, you need to uh, check the Microsoft Word. Their version numbering, how do they num how do they number each version of Microsoft Word? Okay, we get uh, all this stuff. 